Ismail Ibrahim Muhammad is a Somali refugee who has lived in Uganda for close to nine years now. Muhammad's arms were amputated after he was injured in an Al Shabaab bomb attack in Somalia in 2011. This, we were a big number of youth who were doing an interview for scholarship. So where we, are, we, had, we came together and where we are doing the interview, it was bombed uh, by uh, Al Shabaab who claimed the, the attack. So they, and that's why I got uh, the injured. And later on when I was hospitalized, uh, the doctors uh, recommended that my hands should be amputated. In search for safety, Mohammed fled Somalia through Kenya in 2014 and eventually settled in Uganda. Despite this disability, Mohammed managed to survive. When I got this problem, uh, after I was uh, discharged from the hospital, I had been receiving a, a call of threats that we will kill you, finish you. Then it has caused me to save my life, run out of my country. And then uh, most of my colleagues, the other Somali people were recommending Uganda is the best. Mohammed is now a Somali language interpreter with the High Court of Uganda a job that has earned him popularity and through which he earns a living. I had little English when I was coming, my English was not perfect. Then I had to go to Tucha, learn English very well. Then later on I got an opportunity of becoming an interpreter. Mohammed was today among the urban refugees in Uganda who turned up to commemorate the World Refugee Day held at all the Kampala Senior Secondary School in Kampala. Mohammed and other refugees find it difficult to travel out of Uganda either for employment or do business in the region. Now, government says they have embarked on a process to start issuing electronic conventional travel documents to refugees. We have a refugee verification exercise coming up in August and we hope that through that even those who don't have documentation from attestations and IDs, through that exercise you will be given those documents. So that problem that has been hindering uh, some of you to travel for education, for business, and so on, is going to be addressed immediately. Asimo says refugees have a right to travel as enshrined in the international conventions. G Act 2006 uh, gives uh, uh, that provision to issue conventional refugee passports. These are different from national passports. The, the provision under the law is derived from the 1951 UN Convention. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees says the influx of refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo is increasing every day. This year we have reached close to 60,000 new refugees coming from uh, the DRC but also from the South Sudan. UNHCR says the situation to manage the refugee crisis in Uganda has been worsened by the Ukraine and Russian conflict. We are all following uh, on what is happening in Ukraine today, which is the largest cri refugee crisis that we have, and that has become the priority for the world. Resources are being directed to Ukraine. In Uganda, there are 115,000 urban refugees out of the total 1.5 million refugees. South Sudanese and 938,138 refugees. From Congo, there are 433,747. Somalia, there are 58,085. Burundi, there are 41,766. Rwanda, there are 25,638. Eritrea, there are 23,905. Ethiopia, there are 4,664. And Sudan, there are 3,809. Jingo Francis, NTV.